until by right now. They're the poor man's chuckle brothers. It's not too late to make a run for the exit. It's Mark Thomas Ray! Welcome to a very special edition of Big Friday Wind-Up. Get ready for surprises, celebrity guests and half an hour of uninterrupted me. That's right, I'm hosting the show on my own today. So, sit back, relax and enjoy this face. Oh. Alright mate, what are you doing? Alright Sam, uh, just hosting the last show in the series without you, so... Without me? Mark, how could you... Oh, wait a minute. This is a wind-up, innit? Oh, very funny! Ha ha ha, Mark! Ha ha ha! Now, me and the production team thought it'd be a nice change, you know. I might call it And Mark's Big Friday Wind-Up. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? Why not? Think about it. I'm the funny one, the charismatic one, the one with the boyish good looks. Oh, and let's not forget the cheaper one. In fact, come to think about it, what do you actually bring to this relationship? Well, I organise pretty much everything. <laughs> How hard could that be? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, it looks like you've probably probably got it all under control so I mean I mean did you invite all the celebrity guests they need invited did you book the audience um and what about the crew Sam yes Mark I think I might need your help don't worry buddy I'll sort this out oh there we go let's take a look back at some of our favorite bits from series 4 of Big Friday wind up we've had it all celebrities wind up surprises slime and embarrassing parents don't believe me Take a look at what's coming up. Thanks, Sam. Stay tuned for some serious wind-up gold. Yes, we'll be reliving some of our funniest and most outrageous wind-ups from the series. We'll also take you behind the scenes of our amazing backwards trail. You should really think twice before sitting in this audience, because any one of you could be picked for a wind-up. Speaking of which... Look who it is! It's the finger of fun! With your best bud, have you? Oh, what are you talking about, best buddy? Where are best buddies? He loves no. me the finger, don't you? Finger? No, yeah. I don't think so. Do you clear out his litter tray and do you clean up his fingernails? No, you don't. I do. You're my best no, bud. No, but we you? all know everybody yeah. knows that I'm the fun one. Don't you agree, finger? You agree, don't you? Right. You do. Let's settle this once and for all. Finger? Which one of us do you like best? Is it me or Sam? It's me, it's me, look, it's me! No, 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 it's me, no, no, it's me, 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 of course the finger doesn't want us. It's been on the hunt to give audience members the chance to win big. Who's it going to be? And the celebs just love to get involved too. Let's oh. hear this catchphrase, Jeremy. Beast! <laughs> Do you have any spin-off catchphrases? Party? Take a look at this. Today we're discussing what our ideal man would say to us in a romantic moment. We think we know what he'd say. Beef! Stay tuned because later on we'll be finding out if Jeremy will be facing his food heaven, beef, or his food hell, prawns. I love meat paste because of what's in it. Beef! That's a melody, yeah! I want to talk to you about a few of my favourite fashion icons. Yep, with a little celebrity help, we really crank things up. Hi, Henry. I am so impressed by your wildlife knowledge. Hey, Sam, Mark. This is Jed calling. Come on, you can do this. These things like to... Hide it, come out at night and Ow. sleep. Yes, 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 yes. correct! Come on, come on, this. Your favourite animal? Even Monkey, my I heard you, yes, 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 yes. Okay, one more, come on! Quick, quick. These quick. things have light to charge and have the. Rhinoceros! Yes! <laughs> This series, we've made our challenges bigger and better than ever. So, if you want to win the top prizes, you've got to earn it. We've got Mark's feather boa. How did that get there? It's snowy! Yeah! On this show, we love nothing more than an embarrassing parent, and this audience is usually full of them. Oh, all right, I forgot to book the audience. Get over it, will ya? I'm gonna make this work. All right, Billy, tell us about your embarrassing dad. Um, Mark, what are you doing? I'm talking to Billy, the chair-faced boy. Where is your dad today, Billy? Gee, let's just take a look at some of the most embarrassing parents we've had on this series. Give it up for Emmy's mum, Leslie! Give it up for Olivia's mum, Kerry! Ray, Ray. Please give it up for Paul and Amanda! Amanda. Kathy, take it away! <laughs>
think about that? Mum and Dad were terrible, but Jed were amazing. <laughs> We've had loads of celebrities on this series of Wind Up, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Tom Cruise, Jennifer Lawrence, are just some of the people that said no. But we did manage to book Heartthrobs Union J, and look who's in the building! Oh, I love these guys! Hey, we've got to say hi, haven't we? <laughs> Definitely, they love us. <laughs> hey guys, get your beer. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're joking. Just kidding. They're kidding. Oh, they're always doing that. Oh, they absolutely love us. Oh. Always talking with us. Get out. Stop following us around. Quit smelling my stuff. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at some of the other celebrities who's appeared on Wind Up. Hey, guys. We're calling security. <laughs> <laughs> security. <laughs> Good luck, Oscar. Once the celebs are done helping us with the wind-ups, they get to chill with us in the green room. Lucky lot, aren't they? Uh, I wouldn't say luck is the word. Lately, he's just become a nightmare. Oh, tell me all about it. OK, well, don't get me wrong. I mean, he's my best friend in the entire world. Oh, but... Well, lately, he started smelling a little bit funny. <laughs> and, like, at meal times, he just slobbers everywhere. Five, six, seven, eight... Oh, whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Mark right now is thinking, I was wrong. Sam is the leader. I'm simply the Mark. best. Mark. Better than all the Mark. rest. Better Mark. than anyone, Mark. especially Sam. Mark. Anyone I've ever Mark. met, all of you. Mark! Huh? What? Is he house trained? Well, yes, but only yesterday I caught him winging in the kitchen. Oh, dear. No, the eight. That's my favourite number, yeah, I think. It's great. It makes me do the rumba, yeah, the num. Yeah. But eight, a three and a five, and you get numb. But eight, 40 minus six equals num. But eight. What's he like outside the house? Oh, well, you're not going to believe this, but the other day, I took him to a One Direction concert. Mm -hmm. He did not stop licking Harry's hand, could not get off Zane's knee, and he did not stop sniffing Louis's bum. It was so embarrassing. So, are you happy now? Is this room safe enough for you? Yes, yes, I think it is. Boys, you can come in now. Oh, by the way, before I forget, what did you do with all the stuff that you took out of the room? Oh, I just uh, left them in the clumsy pile outside the door. <laughs> Mark, I want you to show how much you trust Sam by falling back into his arms. All right. And you're definitely going to catch me, yeah? Of course I'm going to catch you. Listen, Mark, nothing could ever come between me and you. Right, OK, ready. <laughs> <gasps> Does it? Smelly, am I? Ween everywhere, am I? How dare you? Mark, calm down, calm down. We weren't talking about you. No, we were talking about Sam's pet dog. <laughs> pet dog? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I can't believe I'm so silly. Well, I'm nothing like a pet dog, am I? Okay, cheers, Naomi. See you later. See you later, Sam. <laughs> 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 Mark, heel! <laughs> ah, no one is safe when we take this bad boy out on the open road. And once again, this series, we have royally wound up our fans with our hidden cameras and cunning disguises. Hey, Mark! Hey, Mark! Do you remember this one? <laughs> oh, fisherman! Classic! Oh, oh, oh! And what about this one, mate? What about this one? <laughs> Tennis couch. Go on, Sam. Do the line. You can not be serious! <laughs> Are you brilliant? I don't remember uh, this one. Ah, uh, um, how did that one get in there? Put it back, Sam, will you? <laughs> Here's what happened when we took our hidden cameras out on the open road. 
Do you know what, mate? I think he'd look pretty good in that. <laughs> Sam, put it back, please. We've covered some serious miles this series, smoking our biggest fans and getting right in their faces. In fact, there's so much to show you, there's only one thing for it. It's Sam and Mark's wind-up tour of Britain. <laughs> and where better to start than Newcastle? Yep, remember when you tried not to be recognised whilst playing an awful version of Sam Smith on the panpipes? <laughs> Gosh, oh. All I need. That was the worst panpipe playing I've ever heard. Hey! It wasn't as bad as your magic trick. Hold that string. And then... <laughs> worst trick ever. But nothing could be worse than when we both dressed up as women. Hello! Your name is Cedric. I'm Cedric. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? You all right? I'm just going to throw them up in the air and go, Oh, Ian Flowers. Go on, you do it. You smell it. <laughs> smell. Oh, you! Excellent! And they landed in the bouquet! Yeah. This is getting disturbing. Let's head to Cheshire. Hey, that's where you were an utterly rubbish farmer. I don't get it. You have to say five times... Oh yeah! Wow! What's your name? Oh yeah, wow! What? You wanna feed them? Just throw a little bit in there. Oh yeah, wow! That's only two. Oh, wow! Yeah, wow! That's amazing! Three. Oh, Louise, oh, yeah, wow, you are brilliant at this. One more, make it a big one. Oh, yeah, wow! Do you want to do that one as well? Oh, yeah, wow! <laughs> We've got a farmer. All right, that might have been bad, but nothing could prepare me for the sight of you in your tennis shorts. Every time you hit the ball, you've got to say, you cannot be serious! Just take your time. Here we go. You cannot be serious! <laughs> No, that, that. There you cannot be serious. <laughs> got another ball there, kids. Here we go, kid. Let's see what you got. You cannot be serious. Go. Start lunging. Start lunging. Still got a bit of a cramp. Sorry. <laughs> Stretch that out. <laughs> Next up, Cardiff, where the vamps helped us out with a festive surprise. Girls, we've been playing a bit of a trick on you today. <laughs> I'm actually Sam from Sam and Mark. And these guys, they're not snowmen. They're the vamps. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Celebrities into the mix seemed like a good idea. So next up, we headed to Luton and challenged Naomi Wilkinson to a game of In Your Face. Oh, you're right, guys. Trying to find the cricket ground. You've got any idea where it might be? No? Oh, don't worry, thanks. I'm late anyway. I've got to go and find it. Should I say something then? Show me. Show me. That's amazing. Not as amazing as her accents, though. Naomi, you look. Fantastic as a man. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. I'm not so oh, sure no. about the voice, though. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but Naomi's Egyptian dancing was something truly special. <laughs> Do the worm. I don't know if you know this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at that one. Great job by Naomi, but we're still the true kings of In Your Face, because as our trip to Preston showed, we'll pretty much say anything we're told to. Your name is Captain Silly Man. I'm Captain John, but my friends call me Captain Silly Man. Silly, you like spicy meatballs? You're saying Mama's spicy meatballs. Not the spicy meatballs. Mama's spicy meatballs. You don't like the spicy meatballs. Mama's don't like the spicy food. OK. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty, I employed you as my head chef, Humpty Dumpty. Don't stop. I, I can see why we call you Humpty Dumpty. You just sat on the wall the entire time. But if you thought that was bad, wait till you see what happened when we headed up north for an extra special game of In Your Face on Britain's most famous street. First up, Sam Aston. It's Chesney as the Coronation Street Cat. Where have you come from today? Um, Caden Bridge. Oh, you're kidding. Hey. You? Oh, you're kidding. That's two. No, we're not. Oh, you are kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Now it's our Kirk's turn. Will these fans really believe he's an American tourist? I can't believe it, man. I'm behind the bar of the Reader's Return. This is unbelievable. Wait till I go back and tell all the guys in America I've been behind the bar in the Reader's Return. But nothing could top the Cory boys giving us an awful rendition of the Coronation Street theme tune. Da, 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 da. Yeah, play it. 
play it. We couldn't resist having one final go ourselves, so we took some of our most ridiculous outfits to the streets of York. I'm looking for my damsel. She's in distress. She's called Myrtle. I don't Myrtle. Think you've seen her, have you? No. I'm from Mississippi, you know. Do you know where Mississippi is? No, exactly now. Spell it M. M. I. I. N. N. That was well embarrassing, but it wasn't as bad as your gnome poem, Sam. Gnomes oh, are great. great. Gnomes are cool. Gnomes are cool. Your name is... Dan. Dan? Don't be a fool. <laughs> so, there you have it. There's nowhere we won't go for a cheap laugh. Where to next? Back to the studio, probably. What was that? I'm talking backwards. Or as I like to say... Ever since we did the backwards trail, all the cool kids are doing it. If you're ready to wind up your week... Wind up? It's the only way to get your weekend party started! <laughs> well, in that case... You can't say that! What? I said, here's a behind-the-scenes special of our reverse trail. Mark! Mark! I, I mean, Crab! Crab! Pulling off the backwards trail was no easy task. We had 30 crew members working on it and just a few hours to get it right. Shall I uh, explain how this trail is going to work? If you can, because I find it difficult to explain. Well, what's going to happen is we are going to film a trail going forwards, but we're going to speak backwards. And then when you watch it back, it'll be like... We'll be going backwards, yeah. but speaking forwards. That's what I meant. Right, they start walking backwards, leave it a beat, and then they say goodbye. These guys are very important. They work on the show. They've been working on this trail for months and months and months to try and get it looking perfect. Okay. So we'll, now me and Mark are going to we'll come and probably end. ruin it. We'll do no pressure. End. Okay. The next bit starts at a place where Lindsay yeah. and the doorway. On today's Sam and Mark, apparently, I'm blowing a bubble backwards. For, I'm blowing it forwards, but it's going to... It'll work. This is harder than it looks, OK? Don't judge me for being so bad at this. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, so I go, look at the camera. And Sam goes... That was perfect. Put now. Put now. Wind up's got it covered backwards is... The Vukti Tog Spud now. Wind up's got it covered. And then we sure are is... A Roshi. So we come out. Jump out, and then this way. Both it. Oh yeah, that's better. This trail is in three different parts. We're actually the first part we're filming is actually the last part of the trail. It will make sense once you see it. We have to go through this. Shh. We're doing it. Ready to burst through in three, two, one, go. Good now. Easily. Good. Can't believe that. We've just done that in one take. One take wonders. Unbelievable. We just need 2 and who's going gonna to get thrown? <laughs> hey! OK, so the second part of the trail involves our very good friend, Chimpy, the star of the show. All right, Chimpy, how are you doing? No, you, uh, no, ready for no this? Mark, no, Mark. That's Nick. That's Chimpy there. I'm sorry, Nick. Oh. He's so rude. Three, two, one. You, Lindsay. But before we get to Chimpy's moment, we needed Lindsay to get the bubble right. And even for an experienced pro, it's not easy. Yeah. Take 120. Yeah. Let's go again. She's meant to be a Blue Peak presenter. She's, She's meant to be everything. able to do everything. She oh. can't blow a bubble. Bubbles. Yeah. Not bubbles. Here's what I didn't make earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! And even when she did get it right, there's always something else that can go wrong. Especially when you're relying on Chimpy. Oh, stop. What's Chimpy doing up there? I'm afraid it went wrong, which means we need a second gunge lady. Basically, it's like a revolving door here. <laughs> Just like push him out, bring him back in, push him out again, gunge him. Get if him you'd again. like to audition to be a gunge lady on Summer Mike's Big Friday wind up, don't do it. Don't do it. With time running out, we really need to get this right. It's now or never. Big man. Keep niche now, sign. That's... Yeah. Yeah. How many takes did we do there? 
5,000. I lost count after 1,000. 5,000. A lot takes. But we did it. It's in the bag. Last section coming up where we have to get gunged. But we can only release the gunge once, so after we walk it through, we have to nail it first time. This is tense. Arushin. Then try again. Arushin. Do the Dutchy Dogs good now. If you like surprises, Arushin. Well, I think that's a wrap. I hope so. <laughs> that's the trail done, finished with us getting slimed. Hope you enjoy it. <sighs> it's cold. If you're ready to wind up your week, Summer Mark are here to kick off your weekend. Right, boys? We sure are. You like surprises? Wind up's got it covered. You like lots of messy guns? Nice one, Chimney. And games? Summer Mark's Big Friday wind up will take care of it. It's bursting with action. Hell, is it? Don't miss out on all the fun. Wind up? It's the only way to get your weekend party started. On Wind Up, we love nothing more than pranking our studio audience. We even do it before the show starts, with a little help from Chimpy. Here's some of the best moments from this series. <laughs> this is Ali, who's a massive fan of the show. Now. She thinks that she's here on a tour of the BBC with CBBC royalty, Mr Ed Petrie. OK, you go first, this one. Do you want to say, uh, hello, I'm Ali, welcome to CBBC. Hello, I'm Hacker, welcome to CBBC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. It's Ali! How do you feel about that? I feel speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Yet we love nothing more than a good wind-up on our audience. And this series, we've had so many ridiculous moments, it's hard to keep track of them all. Just remember, it doesn't matter who you are, on wind-up, nobody's safe. I see someone's dug out the old Mark versus Rob. Yeah. It's a strong look, that, for you, mate. Oh, cheers, buddy. Hey, can I try it on, please? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, brilliant, thanks, mate. That is a lovely look on you. Oh. It really brings out the colour in your eyes, that. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Oh, I'll tell you something, mate. If there's one thing that I would love to do right now, one thing in the entire world, it'd be to smash through that paper wall, you know, like you do each week on the show. Oh, please, Matt, can I? Please, please, can I do it? Please? Yeah, of course you can. Brilliant, but you might want to open the doors first. Oh, bear that in mind. This is how Mark Versus should be done. A chance against me, you've got another thing coming. I've got all the moves, so you're gonna lose. I might have to buy a bigger trophy cabinet. <laughs> you're going down, clown. Are you ready to get beaten by a ten year old? And that belt is gonna be mine. Who you thought did the best there? You're the judge, it's up to you, mate. No. <laughs> Harris. Congratulations, Harris! Yeah! Oh, 
So that's it. All good things must come to an end. And you know what, mate? Despite you forgetting to book any guest, book the audience, book the crew, and pretty much mess everything up about the show, I think it went rather well. Let's finish with an uplifting montage of the best moments from this series. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon. Do you know what, mate? I think we got through that show with our dignity intact. I think you're right there, mate. A bit breezy, isn't it? It is.